What's the crack, lads? We're back, man. We're going to be giving a quick review of these players. I hope everybody is good, and I hope everybody has got Rummy if you spun for him. Because, uh, listen, I'm not going to I'm not gonna dress it up, boys. We call it out when we call it out. And I do feel like that this pack leaves a lot to be desired. I've already covered it in my review. But yeah, this is the pack. These are the other players that we didn't focus on. The first video we did, we just picked uh, Rummy, Honus, and Pizarro to actually go through in detail. Um, that video is up on the channel. Uh, and we also did a live stream as well in which we probably spun for Rummy because people wanted me to spin. But anyway, these players, this selection, chances are if you have spun, you'd probably have got one or two of these. Uh, it seems to be easier to get these players. So we're going to go through a couple of these players and we're going to go and talk about them a little bit in detail. So first up, we have got Pablo Torre. This guy is down as a attacking midfielder. I'm not going to spend too long on him, lads. He's definitely one of those players that is a dime a dozen. I would say that standard GP, Pedri, uh, or any version of Pedri that you've ever got, if you are looking for that creative type of player, or even any whole player that goes to about 90 overall or player of the week, uh, any attacking midfielder that goes to 90 overall as a player of the week, uh, I do feel like he's going to be better here. He's missing a couple of you know key parts for an attacking midfielder, uh, such as one-touch pass, uh, first-time shot, any of those, depending on if you're running to the box or not. So for him, it's kind of a skip. I wouldn't even bother training him up unless you are a fan of the player or a fan of the club. We also have, on top of that, we have Furuhashi, obviously a Celtic player. Um, he's down here as a goal poacher, CF. He's got unwavering form. He's on D rating this week. That's not the worst thing because the rating will obviously come back up. But he's down with some nice player skills. He's got one-touch pass and first-time shot off the rip. He's also got double-touch, acrobatic finishing. It's a nice card. Um, we're actually going to show you his training guide here over on eFootballDB. This is the guide that we've gone for with him. So 9 into shooting, 12 into dribbling, 11 into dexterity, and 5 into lower body. That gives you the stat line that you see here. 94 acceleration, plus 2 for the manager boost. 94 balance, which becomes 96 with the manager boost. Finishing becomes 90 with the manager boost. And offensive awareness becomes 90 with the manager boost. So it's an okay card for this stage in the game is it going to compare to Rummy, Romario any of those guys probably not um but I do feel like that a lot of these cars are you're kind of playing with them for a bit of crack and a bit of fun and especially if you're playing road to glory and you've got limited access to the upper tier uh, players these can be a lot of fun to play with these type of cars we also had uh, Pablo Torre there as the attack midfielder that's the guide for him and we have Noah Lang. This guy is fr playing for PSV. I'm not going to spend too long on these cards, lads, because he only has one stat that's going to go into the 90s, or two stats, acceleration and dribbling with this build, 4, 10, 10, 8, 7. That is the build there. Now, I want to talk about Cherky. This guy is a very, very, very strong uh, player, um, down as a AMF as well. A lot of people like this card in the previous versions of the game, and a lot of people kind of have him and Javi Simmons as kind of these hidden gem AMFs. Very nice card. He's got standard form, which is a bit of a pity. He's on C rating, um, but he does have some beautiful player skills. So he does have off the rip, soul control, and double touch. If you give him flip flap, he'll let ball roll. Excellent dribbling off the rip with 30 levels. It's a very, very solid card. He also has chip shot control, but again, down as a creative playmaker and doesn't have one touch pass. It doesn't have low lofted pass. I know his passing stats are really, really nice, or his passing stats here in his tributes at 81 is really nice. And when you actually train him up, you're going to have a build like this, something along the lines of this, zero into shooting, but seven into passing, six into dribbling, 14 into dexterity is going to give you 90 acceleration, 90 ball control, 90 tight possession, and 91 dribbling, which is really nice, as well as 90 low pass. Balance is going to be insane as well. This guy is going to be like Iniesta, uh, Iniesta-esque. Um, that's kind of where he's going to go, I would say. They also have the Kettler, who's down as another attacking midfielder. Now, he's kind of an interesting one. He's kind of like a slower build uh, AMF. He's got some nice player skills as well. We can actually show you his card before we show you the, players, uh, the player build here. Um, but he's actually got a nice card, but he's missing again a couple of those those stats. I mean, he has low lofted and one touch and true passing, which is nice, but he has no shooting stats, and his shooting ability here at 68 off the rip is quite poor. So his acceleration is kind of quite poor as well, and for a player that's kind of quite tall, you do need that something. You need that either acceleration like Rafael Leao if he doesn't have that tight dribbling or that tight control. Um, so I do think that he is a bit of a bit of a bad uh, choice as well. We also have Johnson here as well. Um, the Welshman is going to be down as a dummy runner, as an SS, 
and he's got some player skills there that you see we're not gonna listen lads i'm not gonna spend too long on these cards you know what you're kind of getting with these cards uh honestly i mean a lot of these cards right are like going to mcdonald's and getting a big back you know what you're getting nine times out of ten you know sometimes you get the odd hidden gem you get an extra nugget in your box or something like that if you order nuggets you get seven instead of six but i don't know where i'm going with this tangent but you know what i'm saying you know what you're getting it's consistent the whole time and these cards are a dime a dozen man all of these selection of cards really what you want to be spinning for here that's just the training guide here for johnson i'll just show you that real quick um that's the training guide in case anybody asks here really what you want with these cards lads are the top two picks which is jesus and coleman jesus is a beast we'll get to him in a second but kingsley coleman is quite a nice player as well you can see his build there six into shoot and 11 into dribble and nine into decks and of course eight into lower body that's going to give you a pretty pretty good uh, right winger or right midfielder that can play and do it all stamina is quite okay at 78 going to get the boost and of course the tight possession is going to be over uh, compensated with the balance stat so obviously coleman is not the shortest winger in the game but he's also not the tallest tallest um so he does have low tight possession but he has got really high balance which i probably prefer for my wingers because a lot of wingers are going to be just touching goals or else cut in and shoot. So I do like this card. It's just a pure speed merchant. But you can literally get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different players from the GP marketplace instead of searching for Coleman on this. If you are actually saying, oh, I'd love Coleman. There's no real point. Now, where I will say um, is a good player. There's always one good player in this. If you have missed out on Jesus as a deep line forward, this guy can do it all. Now, his weak foot usage is quite nice with it being high, but he barely uses it, as you see there. His, um, his player skills are quite nice as well. He's got soul control, and of course, he's got track back, which is kind of unique if you haven't used that before. Scissors feint is nice. You will probably need to put a little bit into him. First touch pass is a necessity with this deep line forward, because when you get the ball, you either need to spin um or else you need to just let let it go and uh and and you know run and go run and go run and go that's what you need to do with jesus but it's a nice solid card especially with his form um and arsenal are going to be up and down you know throughout the season he's, he's usually a c or a b but sometimes when he's a i mean i know people that play with him a couple of people that watch me in the channel rate jesus as highly as romario especially his older player the week cards literally as high high as romario when he's on a form and to be honest with you he scored a lot of goals against me um and i do like playing with him but yeah that is the card lads that is the build 10 into shooting is going to give you 90 finishing with the manager boost 11 into dribbling is going to give you 90 in every dribbling stat and of course you're going to have 90 plus balance and acceleration speed and stamina are perfect for that deep line forward he's very like neymar that's what he plays like he's just not as tricky or as slick on the ball as neymar he's kind of like a go-between hybrid between having that play style of neymar the deep line coming forward for the ball and also having that kind of like run and gun put the head down have Lautaro martinez or mario s type players so let me know what you guys think it's not obviously a pack that you're going to be spending for with the view of getting any of these you're obviously going to be searching for rummy or any of these boys but let me know what you guys think i will be back later and uh yeah let me know what you think it's i think all eyes are now on thursday lads am i wrong